hello cancer welcome to your channeled messages here it is a timeless session so whenever you are guided to listen to this video hopefully there's something through the messages that i'll be able to pick up on your behalf that really speaks to you and something that you can relate to for your situation general advice as always so please keep that in mind throughout and let's go ahead and get into it i'll be channeling messages tied into letters for you and your person as well as names that come forward zodiac signs as well as of course messages pertaining to your love life especially but i'm open and welcome to other messages that come forward all right cancer so let me see what presents itself here starting with the letters m the letter m n o p s c is also coming forward a e and an f okay so if any of those letters make sense to you that's what i'm picking up so as far as names michael amanda alan esther is coming forward Eden, E-D-E-N, that's coming through. Patrick, Patty, Patricia, Philip, Phil, so a whole bunch of P names that are coming forward. Nancy, Nellie, Ned, Marie, Maria, Soleil, that's coming through. Stephanie, Stephen, could also be Stevie or Stefan. Carla, Carla with a C as well as with a K, that's coming through. Kathy, Catherine, Chance, Chad. and Claire, the name Claire, that is coming through. All right, so let me go ahead and see what zodiac signs I'm able to pick up for you, Cancer. Sun, moon, rising, or Venus for you and your person. Scorpio, Pisces, so all water signs reflected here. Let's see what else Sagittarius Leo Aries so that's all the fire signs right there so we've got water and fire signs coming through I'm also picking up off of Aquarius okay so those are the signs take it if it makes sense so let's go ahead and open it up to the channeled messages when it comes to your love life. Some of you guys are actually in a really good place in your romantic partnerships. You feel you have found your person. Things could be coming along quite well. Not that everything's perfect because there is no perfect relationship. But this one comes pretty darn close to it. So I feel my angel guides simply want to acknowledge that for those who are happier or happier in your romantic life. That finally things are going your way. For my cancers where it's more of a struggle for you when it comes to your love life. I'm picking up for those of you who just haven't been able to see eye to eye with your person.
there is this need for better communication. There's no way around it. There's that elephant in the room that needs to be addressed, that needs to come to the surface, but for whatever reason, you and this individual just aren't able to get things out on the table where you're both free to really openly express what needs to be talked about. So there's this need to communicate better or to simply communicate, period, because I'm kind of feeling for some of you guys that relate to this, you're not speaking, either you're not speaking, you're not interacting. There could be separations here, but I'm also feeling it for those of you who are together, possibly living together, sharing a home together, but there's just not enough interaction, certainly when it comes to talking about the more challenging parts of your relationship. There could have also been accusations of infidelity for some of you guys that have gone through this or are going through this with your person. So if you're questioning their intentions and if you have your suspicions that they might be doing some shady stuff, the energy that I am picking up could be that yes, there is something of concern there. There's a reason why you're feeling the way you are feeling, and more than likely it'll come to the surface anyway, even if they don't end up fessing up to their actions or whatever is going on that might be hidden from you. You're actually on point with what it is that you're thinking and feeling, Cancer. So you got to trust that. You got to trust your intuition. You have to know that those red flags that you feel should be of a, a concern to you it more than likely is the truth. And this person that I'm picking up, for those of you that resonate with this, they're not telling you the truth. They're not being honest at the end of the day. They just aren't. So that's something that you need to uncover for yourself because they more than likely won't ever fess up to it. That's just what I'm getting for that. I'm also picking up a separate scenario for those of you who are in separation. And I'm picking up more than a year. It's been more than a year since you guys have interacted, since you were in a relationship with each other. This person... Okay, what I'm getting is that they're not necessarily interested in a reconciliation, but this person wishes you well. And they do think about the happy times that you guys have shared. And there are parts of that relationship with you that they still think about and might have already moved on to another person, but there are still elements of you that, that represent itself, even in that new connection. So they might have moved on to another person, perhaps they're happy, but there's still tinges of you that remind them of you, even in other people. So you're still very much a part of the vibe, the part of the memories that they hold dear in their heart space. I hope that makes sense. So this could be an ex that has moved on. Maybe you've moved on, but they still hold very fond memories in their heart when it comes to you. All right, Cancer. So I'll leave that there. Hopefully with what I've channeled here, you're going to be able to resonate with one or two or perhaps bits and parts of the whole reading. All right. So I'll try to offer more of these in the upcoming weeks. Try to definitely post more regularly when it comes to the channeled messages. I did receive some messages from people wondering where what happened to these. And I honestly have had such a busy schedule. I just haven't had a chance to do them. So hopefully I'll be able to get back into that and be able to offer more of these in the future, especially for those who really enjoy these. All right, Cancer. So that's it for now. Thank you so much for listening. And I'll be back real soon. Take care. Oh, 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 oh,